On a tous des idoles, des modèles, des gens qui nous fascinent au cours de notre vie. J'avoue, Peter Strooper fait partie de ceux qui ont une place à part dans mon cœur. Vous en connaissez beaucoup, vous, des gens qui vivent avec une cadillac perchée sur le toit de leur maison. Avec The Genius, comme même l'appelaient certains de ses confrères hollandais, le mot vivre a un vrai sens, même si le temps semble parfois s'être arrêté du côté de l'extrême nord de la Hollande, à Kallenshoog plus précisément, là où se situe l'écurie P.J. Strooper et où nous nous sommes rendus. L'homme a tout connu dans sa vie, des hauts, des bas, des champions comme Abanoas, et puis des périodes très creuses. Le temps passe et l'homme ne change pas. Pourquoi parce que Peter Strooper a une philosophie de vie qui ne connaît pas le rationnel. Ne cherchez pas l'ordre et la discipline chez lui. Il n'en veut pas. Pire, il en mourrait. Peter, can you, can you talk about uh, your horses, Lobel Contest, Duke of Greenwood, and Vastabo Checkpoint? Yeah, no problem. They had a, they had a really good year this year in France, and uh, well, uh, it's very tough, of course, to 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 win there, but. Um, But yeah, we, you know, we've been we've been having some good luck, and the horses were good, and uh, this year has been very good so far. How you explain uh, how, how to all these uh, victories? Uh, yeah, well, they're they've been healthy all the year long, and uh, and uh, and they they have a uh, you know they have good class, and uh, and we had some good luck, and not too much bad luck, so so that's. The only way I can explain it. Uh, we, can, can we talk uh, about you? What changes this last year's for you? Uh, I think maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, these horses they they have enough earnings now to to be able to race in France, and uh, and that's very important. Otherwise, you can't stay in or you can't plan too much. But uh, but this this year it's been it's been very good. You, you train. You have a, a small track, 700 meters, and you have a, and you train your horse here in the beach. Yeah, both of it. We uh, we you know we switch sometimes. Sometimes they they just need some little work on the track, and sometimes we we do some 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 interval work here at the beach, and uh, it depends. Thank you. Here's the boy from me and Slides. Who is it? Duke of Greenwood. Oh. Ah, oui. Twenty-one of September in the Paris. Can we talk about about you, uh, Peter? You're um, for, for a lot of uh, Hollandian people. You're a genius, and you have uh, good results. But it's not uh, always uh, on top, not not always on bad. It's up and down. How you explain that? Yeah, well, I think every stable has that, and uh, ah, we are not that big. We don't have uh, 60 or, or 70 horses. But uh, uh, we just have maybe maybe 17, 18 horses, and, and uh, but the quality is good, and uh, yeah, you have some good weeks and some bad weeks, and some good years and some bad years. It's, it's I think it's every stable has that. You have a special philosophy. You are always optimistic. Oh uh, yeah, well not always too optimistic, but uh, but yeah, you know you you gotta you gotta see you gotta see it when the race is done, and uh, we always try to prepare them as good as we can, and. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, sometimes it works and sometimes it's you know a little bit worse. It's uh, but I guess that's everywhere like that. I'm wrong if I say you you refuse to to be on the system. You you want to live your life like you want to to live. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess everybody wants that. So, uh, but yeah, well, what else can you do? You're the only guys I know who have a, a car in the in the top of his uh, house. How you can explain it? Ah, uh, we had some problems with a neighbor, and he he was crying about it. So they the, the had some some uh, some milieu people came, and then I said, you know what we do? It was just before Christmas. I said, well, what, you know, we just put that car on the roof, and then nobody complains anymore. But it, <laughs> but it, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit funny. You, you you can explain your your system. You you just uh, you, you're not a breeder. You just uh, train and buy your horses. How, how you how you choose them? Well, more or less. Uh, over the years, I've seen so many good horses, and every every new young horse that you buy, that you know, you try to to recollect in your memory what what they should look like and compare them to all the good horses that I've seen before in my life, and that's that's more more or less the way I, I choose them. And the price, of course, has to be right. How you see your future, uh, Peter? Uh, I don't know. It hope I hope it continues this way. And uh, you know it doesn't go all that good with the sport worldwide, but uh, but yeah, we we see where it where it ends.